Sometimes it takes just a small exercise to transform abstract textbook concepts to real life experience. For example, from primary classes upwards, children are taught that water is a precious resource and that we have a very limited amount available for use. Percentages, graphs and charts are often used to emphasize this point. But what do these numbers really mean to the child? How can we help the child transform these abstract numbers into concrete reality? Here's one exciting way of making numbers come alive. In this activity, the teacher asks the students to measure out 2200 milliliters of water into a beaker using an empty soft drink bottle. This amount is assumed to represent the total amount of water available on earth. So this is the total amount of water that is available on earth and I am going to take out 12 spoons. So you all count. One. One. So this 12 spoons of water represents the amount of fresh water that is available on earth. And this am amount of water that is remaining in this bucket salty. is salty. salty. So this is the water found in the oceans and seas. So we had this bucket of water and out of it we have only so much which is fresh water. So what I am going to do now is take out 2 spoons. One, two. Two. So this represents the amount of water that is underground. This is the ground water on earth. Yeah, this is from wells and tube wells. Yeah, and bore wells. So we have to use a motor or a hand pump to take out this water. And from this reminder, I am taking another half spoon, which is found in freshwater lakes. So this is the amount of water that is found in freshwater lakes. And from this reminder, I am taking out one drop of water. One drop. And this is representing the total amount of water that is there in rivers. So we can use this water directly. And another thing that I have to tell you is that this remainder amount of water found in this is the water found in ice caps and glaciers. Again, this water too cannot be used. So, we have only very little amount of fresh water that can be used directly. So, it is important that this amount of water is used wisely and carefully.